I was helping someone today that uh, wanted to edit some uh, some lettering. Um, so this is Eliza font that's in our Bernina uh, version 9 software. And she'd like to take out these loops, and especially this one. So that's the one I'm going to concentrate on right now. And we moved nodes, and we... Uh, we were using the reshape to get the nodes to come up, and we spent a lot of time, but we got those pretty much looking to where she was placed with it. Um, and we had spent so much time on that that by the time we got to the U, uh, we were kind of rushing it, and it just wasn't quite working out. We would we would get there, and she may have already gotten it fixed by the time she got home. But driving home is when I thought of a faster way to uh, edit this letter. Now, something I didn't, I'm going to sidetrack just a little bit, something I didn't talk to her about was how to buoy up these letters, make them a little bit bolder. And so what I'll do is I'll come into the object properties, and you have to kind of look for this. I'm, I'm, it's almost like they hit it on purpose. Effects, and then you'll come to your pull compensation. And we're going to give it just a little bit more. I think I'm going to put this at probably 0.3. Whoops, I've got an extra point in there. 0.3 and apply. And okay, it, it defaulted to 30. And it just gave it a little bit extra without being too much. Okay, so let's enlarge this so that we can see really what we're doing. First of all, though, let's let's go into edit, and it the item is selected. See, it turns pink and it has these dark uh, black boxes surrounding. So I'll break this apart, and if you'll watch my color film, it has broken it into two words. That's cool, but that's not enough. So I'm going to select the the up, the word up, I'm going to break it apart again, and let's see if it'll let me take the U even further, and it does. So then I have all of these components that I can change, because I'm about to use the cut the uh, knife tool, and what it does, it will kind of break up the uh, entire letter if you haven't broke it apart as far as you can. So... I've taken that one as far as it will go, and I've just I've used the magnifying zoom, and I'm going to draw a bounding box over what I want to zero in on. And see that brought it in closer for me to see. Um, so now I'll select the area, and those pink lines will refer to that as a as a wire line. It represents the edge of your embroidery. And I'll select the knife. And I think what I'm going to do is just completely take off that that top part. When I was playing around with it here at home, I was trying to, you know, get rid of parts of it and such. But I really think she intends just to have this part tuck under here. And then this pick up with a broad stroke coming down. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. And you can see that they're not, um, I, I've cut it below, I wouldn't want to just cut it here, that wouldn't be quite enough. So I've cut below where they intersect. I'm going to touch enter. And when I do that, I can then select, let's go to our reshape. I can see the nodes there. And I can select each one and, and delete. Let's see if it'll let me grab just that. So now that top part is highlighted, and I will hit delete on my key keyboard, and it's gone. Okay, now let's go in here and quickly do some reshapes. I'm telling you, if you when she sees how easy this is, she's going to just kick me because this really is easy. 
So I'm, I've just kind of moved that over closer. She may want further, even more, but I'll let I'll leave that up to her to do. Okay, now I need to zoom in because I want to get a line always ends with straight nodes, and the straight nodes are the ones that are yellow squares, <coughs> and your curves are these little turquoise um, round nodes. The orange nodes are your stitch direction. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to put that back. Okay, so I'm going to select just the two yellow ones and I can hold down just one of them and because I've got them both Let's see. He's going to stay there. Because I've got them both, they should... Oh, he released. Then I can then I can drag them both. And we can give this a little pizzazz, a little bit more style, by changing that node, that node, to a circle. <coughs> by touching the space bar. I must not have been on it. Let's touch space bar on that one. And let's touch space bar on that one. Because what I'm what I'm going to do now is start just kind of pulling this to the side just to give it a little more style. Too far. And then really we don't need that one. He's going to go away. So, yes, you can still spend a lot of time fussing with it. And and I do just kind of keep moving them until the satin stitch fills in nicely. Did you see that gap that I did have? The gap that was here. And I'll, I'll put that back in there. And I'm going to touch zero on my keyboard so that we can get an idea how much further we need to take those. Move those up. Quite a bit taller. I'm using the magnifying glass and zooming in. And I'm still in reshape. And I'll just give it a little curve. <laughs> that is so much faster than what we were doing. And I think she'll be pleased with that. Thanks for watching.